Hi guys, it's another day and it's another racetrack coffee. You know why I like this coffee? Because it's crazy good coffee. Give me a call, Pastor Trip. I'll tell you all about it. I'm gonna share some verses with you guys. It says in Psalm 62 8, trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Psalms 42 11 says, why are you downcast, O my soul? Why are you disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Psalms 94, 19 says, when I was upset and beside myself, you calmed me down and cheered me up. I'm talking about God. This devotional is called Let Down, and being let down is one of the best ways of knowing what you're holding on to. Let me tell you a story. You see, during my first years of high school, I was an adrenaline junkie. I mean, I loved doing crazy things. And if it threatened my life in a small way, I, I was all for it. Now I was an explorer and I was always looking for new ways to do something insane, but things changed. You see, I became friends with someone who was even more insane than me. When I say more, trust me, I mean more. He was always doing what I did, but higher, farther, and somehow crazier. Now, if I did a backflip into a waterfall, this guy would climb 20 feet higher than me and do the same thing. One evening before sunset, my friend Alexander the Crazy and I went to one of our favorite places, Sugarloaf Mountain. On top of this gorgeous mountain was a rope swing. Now, I looked at that rope swing and I said, that is sketchy. A little too sketchy for even me. Alex, however, saw this rope swing as a challenge. He ran over, jumped on, and swung through the air like Tarzan. And I was shook because now it was my turn. And instead of letting my pride down and being humble, I puffed up my chest. I grabbed a hold of that dreadful rope. And in my head, I said to myself, could I be the one in a billion when this rope breaks and I fall to certain death? No way. I leaped through the sky showing my friend that I was a man. And sure enough, bam, the rope broke. Wait, wait, no. The freaking branch broke and I flew down this steep mountain slide. I tumbled all the way to the bottom. And somehow I was fine with minor cuts and bruises. But I realized something. You see, I, I didn't know what I was holding on to. The rope seemed secure, but the branch, the actual thing I was trusting in, holding on to was not secure. Listen, sometimes we are let down and we're let down hard. However, let us use these falls in our life as indicators to what we're holding on to. Because God won't let you down, trust me. His promises are good and true, and He uses all things for the good of those who are in Christ. And if you think you're letting God down, humble yourself, because you were never holding God up. He is holding you.